Infobot is the autonomous service robot. It independently moves, recognizes faces and speech, gets to know people and communicates with them on a variety of topics. And it can integrate with external devices, services and systems. Thanks to an open software platform, Promobot can customize and perform the unique functions required by a particular business. Today, concierges are appearing in residential buildings and business centers. The robot fully integrates with the access control system, identifies the visitor and decides whether to let in or not. The introduction of the Promobot concierge allows you to make the access system more profitable and effective, reduces the time of service and improves its quality. The robot recognizes lodgers and lets them through. It is enough to get acquainted with the robot just once and the next time you will greet the tenant at the meeting and let him go home. Also, Promobot can direct a visitor to the elevator or any other point. A new visitor must go through identification to enter. The robot can hold it on the list. It is integrated with the list of people who are allowed to enter. Identifying a person by name or using a document, he will check whether this person is amongst those who have access. Also, access can be obtained through a call. The visitor gives the robot their data, the robot calls the person who can grant access. In tone mode, it either allows the visitor to pass or denies access. If the visitor's name is not on the lists, the robot registers it. It is enough to name the name and bring the passport to the robot's face in order to enter the data into the visitor's account. When an entrance is available to the visitor, the robot issues a pass or opens the entrance through the turnstile. In addition to the bandwidth function, the robot communicates with others. He announces announcements and news at home congratulates on holidays and entertains visitors. Do not worry about its charge. The robot works autonomously for eight hours. At a certain level of charge, the robot reports low battery. Then after the next threshold, the robot displays a message on the screen, which asks to send it for charging. When the critical level is reached, the robot interrupts the current process and rushes for charging. After full recharging, the robot returns to its workstation on its own.